Rush going. Maybe he can get a tier three. I mean, that would be a pretty huge victory for himself here. Uh, Hansk is going to buy back. s is like, all right, fine, I'll give you this one. I mean, he's still sticking around that area as the pressure keeps on going. On this side of the map, it's just Nico Baby hitting buildings. Whenever he gets a chance to, he needs to get the time walk away from the blood right. Now, Fod is TPing back too, so they have both supports now in s -C. He's trying to get the song off, get stunned, get silenced, but surely he's going to be fine here. The guy still has a Manta, so. Oh my god, <laughs> you just come back to destruction. Uh oh. This Nico Baby takes down Fade and Bobica. Those poor old supports never stood a chance. They take down that melee barracks. Oh, gonna save the, the catapult. Make it happen. And they're going back in. Another round. Roche is down. Very, very low. Can they kill them off? No more GA left. Juan walking brazenly into the pit. He doesn't get anything. Nico Baby gets it all. <laughs> now he's just going to have to walk away again. If they're not careful, Lip is just going to start laying into them here. Oh, Bobica, he found one. Can they get him? That's going to be a quick and easy kill. On to 3-3. And now it's Aston oh, they got to have the, the follow-up. Yule Scepter. Chase down coming, the fear, they pull him back in. And that is gonna be a dead Nico baby if they can make it happen. They do have the Aegis. Omni Slash should be coming back up again 20 seconds away as they get the lift onto Chuan. But Bobaka, he found him! No, but there's gonna be the pull off. The Hovenly Grace, Bobaka is eventually going to hit the dirt. And now the Arcane Shackles. Oh, they got him caught. That's four dead from Aster. Oh, why? Killed off, and Chuan just has to run trying to make his escape as the Torn not Jeez. gonna connect there as another X comes out from Limp trying to pull him back in closer. Everybody's grouped together around this poor old sniper. He's just gonna get eaten up, gobbled down. 3-3, three, three, can he find the finish? Not quite there in time. And Limp, he's able to get it. The Torrent connects there onto both of them. Still, they've only lost the puck. Everybody is so Look at Nico low Baby. HP, but it's not there. And the buyback comes. Nico Baby, he's just out of here. Give me that bounty rune on my way out. A buyback for nothing. And Alliance looking dominant. All right. Possibly Alliance could go too far as Hanskin is back behind. Enemy lines looking for a jump. If they can find it, there's going to be the coil already out onto two with the PKB coming from Tron. That's going to keep them surviving through this. But the racks are falling. Megas at under 30 minutes doesn't sound good to me. But the Chrono connects on the three. The follow up macro pyre is there. It's doing a decent bit of damage. Not sure if it's quite going to be enough though as they buy back on. The Kunkka. He's going for that Rax. I mean, they're holding on. He's like, my draft still has Aegis. I'm ending this game now. Hoof stomp. They take down Fada here, it looks like, as he is going to die. But they jump in. Nico Baby's behind enemy lines. The roar comes out. That was nice. Is it going to be enough damage? It looks like Nico Baby Aegis down, but he's coming back again in a second. XXS could go for a stomp. There is no Chrono Sphere. There is no Sniper. GG. Aster's out in Alliance. We're moving on. Good positioning from Nico Baby. Just waits for the blink, goes in. Cleans up the game there on the sniper. That's why they want to go. All right, replace your tranquils. Juan jumps into the midst of them. They're already out with the Lotus Orb. Limp turning to fight. Fear pulls him in a little bit closer. Limp in a little bit of trouble. Turns to take him down. Bobica, he's dead. They stole the wards. Going to be able to turn it now back against them. And in a ton of trouble, Juan. He's going far too far. They've already fought out. There's no buyback for the Shaman. I don't know if it matters as they get the RP. Uh, what? The jump away. Now he has RP. They're able to get away. The RP's down. He's trying to run out of there. Limp's got him in his sights. Deep, deep as they take down the Razor. Take down everybody. All right, this is why you wait for the next rush, guys. <laughs> what are you doing? This is all, for all the times you've ever gotten angry at a team, like, why don't they just end? <laughs> this is why. Several in the mid lane shoving the wave, and now they're going to go into the jungle. Drow is coming here too. Fada has three points in the sword, so only one in the tombstone. He's going to get on the high ground. Nice. Drops it up there. Able to get all the vision in the world. Coil down onto two with the boat follow up. Connection is a radiant show up with five heroes in the dire jungle. Can they stampede the way? Yes. And Hex follow up. Shackles. This guy's hard to kill. Ooh. But the Chrono connects on a four. They don't have nearly enough damage at this point in the game, though. The Hook Stomp connects there on a two as they roar up the sniper. 3-3. Three, three, Want to try and run him down. Still nobody from Alliance has died. Nico Baby there to clean up another round of it. Alliance is living. Aster is dying. And they're going to take this tower in a second. Or who knows? Yeah, we'll find out. Find out as uh, their run continues here. More at 11. 
As they get the lift up on the SCCC follow up with the stun and my man can't get out of there in time. The, well, maybe a turnaround here as they get the spin stolen by the Rubik. That's enough to find the follow up kill. Eco Baby not going to get brought down and XXS killed off by the triple kill from Hanskin. Uh, do you see how he like held that RP? Because oh. he was trying to delay long enough so that when the spin ended, there would be less of a window for them to actually kill the jug, right? Yeah. Because like he knows he's trying to get off the Omni. So he's like trying to delay the air. General, you like even having the late game. Oh, the big old jump down. Blood right out already trying to find that kill. Swap back in in spite of the grave. Naga Siren eventually going to be taken down here as Nico Baby shows up. They try and kill off that app, but not going to happen. Fade barely able to walk away from that one. As he still has another magic missile, they try and take down XXS. Another blood right going to be thrown out there as the stun connects onto this void, stealing away the time walk. Oh, he's going back. in. And the Chrono connects the second round of it, but there's not any extra damage to throw into this at all. They get the Telekinesis run back. Tron is going to be controlled there by the stun. They find the kill, but they can't take down Nico Baby. Nico Baby trying to look for the secondary, but not going to be there. Well, tier 3 tower being assaulted. Nico Baby was continuing to just control this game at this point. Dives in, they get the duel again. The ABBA trying to make anything happen to keep his team alive, but at the end, it's going to be the big old chrono that connects as they get the double Yule Scepter lift up, but chasing forward, trying to find that Naga Siren. They kill off SCCC again. Nico Baby will not be denied. He's looking for the follow-up. Chase finds the Inkswell connection there on to yet another dead bench. SCCC, even the fountain is no safety for you as I'm going to continue to dive into your base. And GG is called before he goes down again. 17-0-11. So who can stop this guy? Oh, man, that was a, uh, a month. Smoke. His courier is going to give it away as it flies to the mid. Hanskin, does he get jumped on at the start? They're deciding to go over on to that Rubik. He's controlled, has the wards down already and dead. What can Nico Baby do? Chasing down Fade, not quite enough to get the kill. <laughs> can they get a chase onto him, though? Yup. Dual Scepter. Chase down. Oh, Bubba got Hex is the Omni. Get, get the BKB, but it's not enough. Omni slash Dual Scepter. Can they get away? Nico Baby not going to escape. He has that buyback available as they lose the Omni as well. And looking like they can go in for more if they want. Buyback status is available. The means to turn around the stun is there on SCCC. That was just the rich getting richer, man. That ward up on the high ground. Bobica identified. Oh, Skewer thinking about getting the pullback. That's the gem. They are going to take this tier three tower. Glyph is still around. 60 seconds, no sniper. They have the creeps pulled far enough to <laughs> cut the back door <laughs> in the oh. mid lane. Oh, nice. Oh, they got him, though. And now the pullback on Rubik. He has buyback as well as they get the long duration skewer pulling them all the way into the base. Vata going to be controlled for a moment. Nico Baby pops that cheese, trying to live through this one. Chuan is on top of him, though. They do not have a great answer. The four steps to the high ground is pretty good as they manage to kill off his Blitz with his own Frost Blast. But that is still more heroes dead with no buyback. What can they get on the side of Aster here? I mean, there's a lot of buildings that need to be taken. That's the problem. I mean, Macro fire that. Okay, stomp. Coil, connect there onto two, try and run away. Don't want to break the coil, but Nico Baby chasing. They're going to oh, kill God, off the dude. two supports. Cast they your didn't spells. stand a chance. Ugh. Like, come on. <laughs> the buck's going to jump you, dude. Don't try and hold it. Just let it go. Knew it was going to happen. The tier three tower down. We had about a 70 minute game previously, 18 minutes, and this one is looking damn near over as Alliance are just stomping on the face of Aster. They got a perfect read on the capabilities of this Aster lineup. Yeah. X, Torrent, Chuan, no chance. The Roar comes out onto that Centaur, tries to chase him down. Nico Baby is just blinking aggressively in. They try and take him down. They don't want to use the Chrono. That Sage is already used already. But the Chronosphere, they want to take him down afterwards. Macro Pyre on top of him. Can they kill off Nico Baby? He just walks away. <laughs> chrono for what? Great game three for one. Oh god, don't walk there. But the jump in, they had the vision. They got him caught. And on top of all of them, the mute comes out. While Bobica dropping down the wards. Can they kill off any of these heroes? There's the RP already out, but not doing quite enough damage. So they do lose the ogre and now also looking to maybe lose Nico Baby. As the jump was a little bit ill-advised, but they're healing through the this. They, they got pulled back in. The skewer, how did they find him? 
Oh, there's no buyback on Nico, baby. SCCC finds the triple kill. Limp is going to have to do it all in a bit more as 65 minutes in. It's just the sniper that's left there. All right, there they alive. have another ulti. They're ready for round two. The RP pulls it back in. The hex is out afterwards, trying to keep this alive. They've got the glyph still working for them. As the GA comes out afterwards, they still can't take down that Ancient. But as they chase down another XXS, going to take a good bit of damage. But there's going to be the Omni Slash on top of one, switching over the damage onto Handskin. But guess what? This game is Defense of the Ancients, and Alliance have lost. As Aster pull it back. To but it looks like that's going to be about the extent of it. We'll see if Aster can make a chase happen. The follow-up, Nico Baby runs into all of them. The stun is out there, draining the mana. Nico Baby in trouble with the time walk. He's able to get it off there, and he has the grave right behind him. If things get a little bit too dicey, as well as the Aegis popped. This guy's crazy. He's, he's fighting like he has Chrono. He's thinking about it. BKB popped, turn now onto Fade. Welcome back to the world of the living. Has to swap to try and stay alive, and there's going to be the rupture. The follow-up comes out, Grim Stroke ulti. Connecting for the moment, and the TP away. Limp does not want anything more, but they get the swap. The pull him back in. And just like that, Alliance throw away three heroes. They did get the melee rack. Send in the ogre. Let's get it, guys. Uh, lifted. Pull back in. Bot against the bounty rune, but it looks like he's going to lose his life for the cause. Sniper up on the high ground, though. They get the spin, come in, and the GA already out. They buy back on the Ogre. Can they bring down Twan? He's just walking into them. It's a lot of physical damage out onto this Razor as Nico Baby oh, running into all sick. of them. A pretty good RP as they pull back in, but RP's stolen! And now Hanski turns this back around onto them. Nico Baby still living through the two-person stun. Double kill coming out from Twan as SCCC runs away. So they kill off the Sniper, and can they find any more there? You will Scepter lift up. Hanskin throws out that... Fade they still have Omni. Well. They've got him caught. The turn around, the catch. It's on to both of them. It's a ton of damage. Oh, the cross the green. No. <laughs> SCCC wanted more. Still, they take down. Trying to delay long enough so that when the spin ended, there would be less of a window for them to actually kill the jug, right? Yeah. Because like he knows he's trying to get off the Omni. So he's like trying to delay the RP, but his jug's so low, and they just couldn't find that timing where he'd actually be able to end the spin in time here. And yeah. This is uh, exactly what I mean here, because he gets stunned up, and XS is just like, I gotta help him, and he's like, all right, I gotta wait, I gotta wait, my jug is screwed, uh, my jug's gonna die. Like, <laughs> just can't get the Omni off. Uh, even if he gets it, I mean, he's probably dead too, but at least they might have taken out a window for them to actually kill the jug, right? Yeah. Because like, he knows he's trying to get off the Omni. So he's like trying to delay the RP, but his jug's so low, and they just couldn't find that timing where he'd actually be able to end the spin in time here, and yeah. This is uh, exactly what I mean here, because he gets stunned up, and XS is just like, I gotta help him, and he's like, all right, I gotta wait, I gotta wait, my jug is screwed, uh, my jug's gonna die. Like, <laughs> just can't get the Omni off. Uh, even if he gets it, I mean, he's probably dead too, but at least they might have taken out one or two with him. And Nico Baby, again, just like pushing the limits here on that last track, dropping very. Yeah, and Fade is just gonna back away. Yeah, yeah, now. Oh, they have a sentry already down, though. He's walking around the other Fata's direction. looking to pop some smokes. Ah, uh, this is dangerous. Up on the high ground, the RP connects on the two, pulls it back in with the Omni Slash on top, and it's only a limp, but that's a good one to get. And now the buyback comes from the Sniper. They need to get out. Yeah, they got a tier one tower mid. Run. He's in so deep. He's got to get the heck out of there. The BKB is going to wear off relatively soon, and XXS just hoping to make something happen. They get the fear of the pullback in, the jump of the Yule Scepter. The save his life for a moment. They have the wards down. Can he get out in time? The chase down, it's enough. The last Fade tickles. Gets the kill. Dude, Aster are making it happen just a little bit too slow on the steal there because, uh, you know, the mag oh. comes out of the invis for oh the blink. Oh my god. The long 